What up, guys? You know who it is. It's Big Green, the Gumbino, Gumbe. And I'm here to take over Spilt. That's right. Gumby all day, 24-7. Just this. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey. What is that? Is that a chicken? Do I hear a chicken? Where's that chicken? Give me that chicken. I gotta find that chicken. Where's that chicken at? Oh. I need some coffee. What's up, guys? It's John from Spilt. Hey, you know, I just had the weirdest dream, man. And for some reason, I just have the strongest craving for gum. Anyways, Halloween is just around the corner. In fact, trick-or-treating is tonight. So trick-or-treaters are probably going to be like knocking my door down um, in just like an hour or so. But I have a coffee that's just fitting for this time of year. It is this. Little Coffee Shop of Horrors. <laughs> From Stone Creek Coffee here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to be brewing this up with a V60. I am going to do 30 grams of coffee and 500 grams of water. So uh, let's give it a go. I need my water. Where's my water? Water. Check. Okay. So, Little Coffee Shop of Horrors. Um, according to Stone Creek Coffee's website, this coffee is from Guatemala, from a farm called La Providencia. Um, it is, that farm is in the growing region of Weiwei Tenango. And the coffee farm is listed at an altitude of 1,500 meters above sea level or roughly 5,000 feet. Now that's a pretty good altitude. That's pretty high up there. So the higher the altitude, the harsher the growing conditions for the coffee plant. Now that's kind of sucky as a, if you're a coffee plant because you don't grow very, like as fast. But for us coffee drinkers, that's actually uh, good news because that gives more time for the coffee plant to develop, allowing more sugars and flavory goodness to develop inside of the coffee cherries. So it gives us a better tasting coffee bean. All right, got 30 grams here. Gonna do a little bloom. So an interesting fact about this coffee is that it uses four different um, coffee varieties or varietals. It uses Bourbon, Katura, Katuai, and Mundo Novo. And those coffee varieties are actually pretty similar um, genetically. Um, I think some of a couple of them are um, like mutations, and then the others are hybrids. So they they're kind of similar, but they're each distinct enough that each one has its own flavor profile. And so when they're all mixed together, um, it should give us a fairly complex tasting coffee. All right, that's five hundred there. Okay, so I'm all brewed up here. I'm gonna let it. Just hang out for a couple minutes, let it cool down a bit, and then I'll catch you for the tasting. And I'm back. Okay, again, this is Little Coffee Shop of Horrors from Stone Creek Coffee. You always want to, before you do the tasting, get a sample of the smell of the coffee. It has this, like, savory yet sweet smell to it. Wow, it, it's like... It's like caramely sweet. I'm, I'm trying to sense the cocoa flavor in it. Because I was picking up some of some cocoa in the smell. I would say I do notice a little bit of cocoa in the flavor. But it's not like a bitter sweet as I was expecting. Typically when I sense cocoa in, in a coffee, it's like a, a bitter sweet kind of chocolate. This, I get the cocoa, but it's like... 
almost like a milk chocolate with a nice acidity um, that hits on the back of my tongue. So um, medium acidity. And you know, it's the body, it, it's got some body to it. So medium body. And in fact, I would love to see this in a full, full on dark roast form. Um, I'm just such a sucker for dark roast coffee. Um, it has a richness and a decadentness to it that that I'm getting in this, but I think would really come out in a real full roasted, uh, full bodied uh, form. Okay, overall, great coffee. Has a real nice body while still maintaining a bright acidity. Taste wise, real nice, caramely sweet with some hints of milk chocolate. This is a great coffee for post trick or treat. You know, when you just want to camp out on the couch and just dig into your trick or treat haul of chocolatey goodness. All right, guys, it's been fun. Thanks for hanging with me while I brew up this little coffee shop of horrors from Stone Creek Coffee. Uh, great stuff. Go check out Stone Creek Coffee's website. I'll post a link in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. Share it, subscribe for more future videos. Now, maybe I should go trick-or-treating tonight, huh? If only I had a costume. Huh. Oh, well.